Welcome back to the Anything Goes Project. Today, we've got an interesting little topic. See before me, well actually you'll see it up here. This is gonna be a video on EDC. Basically another one of my what's in your pocket. So we're gonna be discussing EDC from two aspects. Stuff that you would normally carry with you on an everyday basis in your pockets and so on. Uh, versus what you carry in like your vehicle or your backpacks that you may lug around with you and stuff. So with that, we've already poured ourselves a good spiced rum and I think we're gonna get right into it. So check it out. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like. Uh, yeah, I seem to always forget to say that. Dramatic pause. Okay, so we are back. See, I got some notes here so I can remember exactly how we're going to do this. Uh, top, every now and then you're going to see the little screen flash. It's going to be right up here on the side. It's going to be kind of giving you an overview of what's going on here. Uh, there's a camera here, camera here. So we're just going to roll with it. I want to talk about EDC because a lot of people take for granted some of the stuff that you might want to carry around with you on a daily basis. Uh, it's it's kind of important. Uh, it could mean whether or not you survive, uh, make it through the day. And so I guess you could say the first topic I want to discuss is uh, like your own personal protection. And I'm talking knives and guns. Uh, we're gonna we're just gonna touch on the guns slightly because I'm not quite sure how YouTube is going to. I know I see a lot of gun videos on YouTube, but uh, I don't know how they rank them. So I'm just going to tell you, I live in a state that is constitutional carry, but you also, uh, I think personally, I think if you're going to carry, you need to have yourself a license or uh, an LTC, a license to carry, because that way you know you've gone through the proper training and you've had your uh, safety classes per se. So we've got... My personal carry here, this is a Beretta APX 40 caliber. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and put this off to the side. We'll just jump straight over to the knives. So the reason I say knives, like I said, if you're not in a state that you can carry a handgun, you need to uh, have something to protect yourself or open a letter, cut a box open, cut open a package, just something. A knife is a useful tool. And uh, as you can see, looking at the video, there's a whole assortment of them right here. And it's, this is just, the, the opportunities are endless. So let me go through ones that I carry on a regular basis. This one here. This one's made by Gerber. I love the little blade on it. A little blunt blade there. Works great for opening boxes. The way this blade is beveled, this thing is razor sharp. It will cut through pretty much anything you want. I carry this pocket. It's got a little clip on it. And uh, yeah, it's a great little tool. Uh, growing up, remember these? Yeah, Uncle Henry used to make them. This one is a charade uh, 340T. Has the uh, three blades. Let me see, we got that one. And then the other little blade. I'm not gonna try to get it in, can get your fingernail under it. But anyways, great little knife. Fits perfectly in a pocket, it's lightweight. And if you're gonna upgrade a little bit, got the buck, little buck knife. This is the buck 371. And it is identical to this little charade in the fact that it's got three blades and the blades are almost identical you're just looking at different sizes buck makes a damn good knife they keep an edge and they work great my biggest complaint is oh no i'm doing something uh you know what i mean it's not a lock blade but in a pinch that's a good knife get yourself a little belt sheath for it i use a side mount because i like it to sit like this on my belt works great 
And then of course you've got a whole plethora of other knives. Also with knives, you need to check your uh, local jurisdictions and laws to find out what you can legally carry. Some, not, some states don't want it over a certain size, like if it won't fit in your palm, uh, they don't want you to carry. Uh, little knives like this, this is a little Gerber, a little paratrooper Gerber. And uh, this knife is tiny. You can't even see it. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. And a great little knife. Uh, if you're in an area where they don't allow you to carry pocket knives, but you still need some sort of blade, utility knives. You can get these things a dime a dozen. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, just wherever. And uh, they come with replacement blades. You literally pull that quick. This one's got a little button you just push. Blade slides in. Boom. It's ready to go. And this is also lock blade. Lock blade is up here on the top. Where was it? Oh, it's a button. Sorry. I was trying to figure out where this one was. I've got two or three different versions of this. And this one is the side button is a lock blade. It's heart brand. And there's the one. This one here. This is a Sheffield, and it actually is a lock blade like your old school pocket knives. And then you've got this kind, where the lock is a little cam that just slides over and keeps it from locking. This is the basic simplicity of utility knives that you can carry, and it's small, fit in your pocket. Okay, and moving on to, if you like novelty items, I uh, just recently watched a video that man, this guy, this dude right here is literally that big. It's like an inch and three quarters across here. And then you fold it out. Man, I bought this just seeing it thinking that dude looks pretty dang cool. A little Tonto style blade. And I was like, shit, what would I ever use that for? I've used the crap out of this. And what I like about it is you can close it up. It's got a little lanyard hole right there in the top and put a little lanyard on it or put on a little key ring. Boom, you got it. So our uh, knives can be used for all kinds of tools. Uh, in my vehicle, I carry a sheathed knife because I'm constantly out running in my vehicle. I drive a Bronco, so uh, get it into some pretty rough areas. Also I like camping and hiking. So my sheathed knife, that's my tracker, my bush tracker love this thing razor freaking sharp but this is my sheath knife and i like this one simply because it's that hardened damascus steel i can uh beat the crap out of this knife use it to split wood that's what i love about this part right here small branches put it on top beat this sucker with another branch and it'll break it right in half it's a tool tools are meant to be used so this is one i carry with me all the time in my vehicle or my backpack Another little one, favorite. Yeah, probably not a lot of you have seen these before. These are like uh, Norse style knives. And this is actually eating utensils because it even comes with a little spike for eating. Like I said, the market out there for knives is endless. Find what you like, what fits with you. Uh, hell, even go with some of these camulus. They've got the plastic bodies. They're really lightweight titanium blades. They hold an edge. And in a bind, these things are quick. You can get this out of your pocket and be ready to rock and roll with it. I mean, literally, it, it's super simple. And then, I guess you can say, our trusty Open L's. I've, I've carried an Open L for years. The company's been around for almost a, over a hundred years. That is the simplest basic design you can get. Wood, uh, I've got one over here in pecan, pine, great little knives. And as a matter of fact, got a little cam. It turns, you open, you lock the cam back. Now it's a lock plate. It's not going to close up on you. Look how thin that blade is. That blade is ultra, ultra thin. This thing holds an edge like you wouldn't believe carbon steel blades so yeah get an open nail they're not they're not that expensive this, oh and, and if you're looking for one open nail number eight they got a bunch of them but this is the open nail number eight you can get it in pine walnut 
Uh, this one, like I said, is in pecan. Uh, no, no, wait. This one's oak, I believe. Oak or pecan. I don't remember. I bought it on uh, vacation. I was in a town, and I just happened to see the head open nails, and I bought one. So, yeah, yay me. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. I know you guys have heard, heard enough about knives. All of you like your knives. So our next point of interest, video again. I think I can see it. But anyway, next point of interest is going to be paper, paper, pens, pencils, something to write with reason I say that is important and you've watched me do videos on my journals I carry a journal with me everywhere this is a travel journal I carry it with me everywhere I've got my pins up here on top my favorite pin of all is my fountain pen it's reliable it's dependable I've always got little ink cartridges and I don't ever have to worry about it running out well when it does run out you just new ink cartridge and go uh, I've never had a problem with it. It writes on pretty much everything. And, but these right here. Okay. These are the Right in Rain. You got to see it right there. The Right in Rain notebooks. You, these pages are kind of waterproof. Uh, hard plastic covers. Uh, they Right in Rain makes a pen to go with these. I don't have one. Uh, if anybody wants to send me one, I'm more than happy to try it out. Right in Rain can send me one. But I just normally use a pencil in these or my little Sharpie, you know, Sharpie pencil. The fountain pen doesn't write too good on this paper because of the coating it's got for making it waterproof. But let me tell you, I've always got a mechanical pencil on me. I've got drafting pens that I carry with me and they're all mechanical. And they write beautifully on it. So, no problems. Sharpie writes great on them too. So, you've got something to write with. Uh, the reason I like these, carry these out in the field with you. You can toss it in your back pocket, in your rucksack, your bag, your go bags, or whatever. Uh, multiple reasons you can use these write in rain or little composition books. Uh, these You can get these at Walmart, uh, Best, not Best Buy, Walmart, uh, any Office Depot or something like 50 cents a piece. Stupid cheap. And you can get these little books, like these little moleskin composition books. The small ones are great to have on you because you can use it to keep notes on things. Uh, if you're tracking your coordinates on a map, write them down on it. And uh, I'm going to tear a page out of this, so don't freak out. It's a blank page. Okay, great. It's torn out. I've got kindling for a fire now. Yeah, that's an important thing. You're cold. You need kindling for a fire. Paper. What better fire I started than that? Which brings us over to our next thing to keep on you. So, oh, and I wanted to also let you guys know. The Ride in Rain products. Uh, they're great products. You can get them online. A little pricey for a notebook. Uh, I've seen them anywhere from 5 to $6 online. Surprise, surprise. I found out Lowe's, the hardware store, carries these three bucks a piece. So, hey, go to Lowe's. Go to your hardware store and uh, see if you can get one of the right in rain. I keep saying that. Uh, these guys need to sponsor me. Dramatic pause and zoom. Okay, so anyways. Uh, writing utensils, pin. Let's do that. Next thing I want to discuss, since I did mention it, your kindling. Need something to start it with. Lighters. Huh. If you'll notice, all these items right here are pretty idiot proof. Uh, I've been known to be an idiot. Uh, it's literally you click and there, there's a flame. Uh, flick it, there's a flame. In a in an emergency situation, let's say you're broke down on the side of the road. It's going to be a while before anybody can get to you. It's the middle of winter. Oh, no, you're freezing to death. Car won't start. You have no heat. You could always start a fire. You're lost in the woods. Best thing in the world to, bra to raise your morale, to make you feel like you can survive this, is have a fire. And a fire is important. So these items that I just showed you, 
pretty much pick up any store, okay? Start a fire. Uh, I do want to mention this. A couple of different Zippos. I just recently saw a video. I'm going to do a shout out to him because I did not know this. I love my Zippos for carrying around for emergency situation. Problem I hate. They run out of fuel. The dang things evaporate. Uh, if you carry it in your pocket, the, the lighter fluid tends to kind of like want to burn your legs sometime. Uh, it's just a whole number of things that can go wrong with a Zippo. You get out in the you get out in the wilderness, you drop it in the water or whatever, and it soaks into your cotton. You're screwed on your Zippo. I did not know Zippo or another company called Thunderbird or Thunderbolt or some shit like that makes an insert. Take out your old Zippo insert, toss it in a drawer somewhere. They've got a propane or a butane insert, like what's in these. They've got double heads, single heads, but you click it and boom, you got an instant torch. Uh, so I went online, looked one up, and holy crap, they're relatively inexpensive, about uh, 12 to $14. So this shout out goes to uh, Marine X. Holy crap, I did not know that that was a product on the market. Thanks, man. So, uh, anyway, Zippos are great. You're also going to want to learn in an emergency situation. Learn how to use a fire starter. Uh, what if you don't have a lighter uh, or something like that? I carry one of these in my go bag all the time. Uh, I've got a wazoo string that I carry when I'm hiking. It's got a ferrule rod on it with a little striker, but usually I just use the back of the knife and strike. Works great. Also, this is something that I've never seen this to date. And uh, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong in the comments, but I have never, ever, 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 ever seen somebody mention this in a video. I picked this up at TJ Maxx, $2. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's a novelty. All righty, cool. What am I going to use this for? And everybody's like, what's in the tube? It is a stainless steel straw. Holy crap. Yeah, I need a straw. I, that's my, that was my thinking. It's like, yeah, disposable straw. Save the wildlife. We, we, no, more, no more disposables. I got a stainless one to carry around. So anyways, I had these in my backpack recently, and we went... Uh, on a hiking and camping and trip for several uh, several days, almost over a week, up in the mountains in uh, Fredericksburg, Texas, Enchanted Rock. Okay, I was getting a fire started, and I was like, <sighs> I was blowing like crazy trying to get it down. My kindling was burning. I just was not getting enough air down to it. Light went off. I went and pulled this out of my bag. Got that down. Lightly blowing right there by the fire, by the flame and the kindling. Whoosh. Now, I know they make products, little portable bellows that you can carry around. That's great. I've seen them priced online. Some of them get stupid expensive for a freaking collapsible stainless tube. Okay, some of them get redonkulously redu expensive. Uh, I found this, like I said, TJ Maxx, and come to find out you can buy them online for a couple bucks a piece and come with a little cleaning tube. Uh, just a stainless steel straw. Works great. Uh, you have an old radio that has an antenna on it that you're, no longer works. Take that antenna off. Boom. Now you got an extra long one. I actually saw somebody use a selfie stick one time. That was badass. Okay. So we covered fire, covered your knives, uh, and give you an idea of some of the stuff. Uh, this I carry on me every day. So this is mine. I carry a pen every day. I carry some sort of writing implement on my person in my pocket every day. My journal goes with me everywhere I go every day. So everyday carry, you see the theme here, okay. Y'all aren't idiots. All right, next thing we want to discuss, flashlights. Uh, and this is going to be a crossover part. This is why, uh, this is like a two-part on this. It's the flashlights you would carry on your person. Also, the flashlight that you want maybe for your bag 
or maybe for your car. And the reason I say that is because on your person, a flashlight can be heavy. Uh, I'm not one of these people that counts ounces and weights or one of these backpackers when I go out. I'm not one of these backpackers that tries to go as light as possible. I want some of my creature comforts. I'm going to carry a freaking chair with me if I can. Uh, flashlight. This little dude right here. Uh, I don't even know what brand it is. I picked it up at our tractor supply. It's got a C embossed on the side of it. So, But sucker is bright. Uses one AAA battery. That's a, that's a key thing right here. I try to get all my flashlights to use the same batteries. AAAs on all of these. Okay, this is... If it's in the palm of my hand, you can't really see it. It's lightweight. I keep this with me at all times too. This stays on my bag that I toss over my shoulder and if I'm going to be going somewhere I can just flip it off and drop it in my pocket it's light enough to do that with okay and then we got it's it's slightly older brother and this is uh, a little bit bigger kind of see what I mean just a little bit bigger just as bright though LED and AAA battery okay next one this is the one I keep in my Bronco. It is bright. It gets the job done. I like being able to hold it and just point it like this. Also, it has some filters in the bottom, so you can get yourself some different colors. Also has a setting on the side, so if you know Morse code, you can, uh, well, let me see, I gotta click it up one notch. It be a signal light for you. That's what the different filters are for. You can be like a signal. If you're lost in the woods or you're stuck broke on the side of the road, you can signal a car coming towards you. Let them know, hey, I'm broke down on the side of the road. I need help or don't hit me, bro. So, great one for your car. Another one I keep uh, either, a lot of times this stays in my car, but most of the time it uh, stays in the house because this one doesn't use the... Uh, what you call it, the uh, AAA batteries. This one uses 18650 rechargeables. And the reason why is because this dude is stupid bright. Uh, I, I like to light up my whole yard with this. It's adjustable, so you can get your different widths on your uh, beam. But this is what I keep around the house for emergencies. The, the L-shaped goes in my Bronco. Two small ones are on my person or in my bag, somewhere where I can easily access it. Uh, watch. I'm not big. I'm not a big watch wearer. I've got an Apple Watch. I wear it. I've got several other watches. Uh, one, I didn't even have a watch out on the table. I'll go ahead and put out a watch. Okay. There's a watch. And there's a watch. Uh, these. Battery battery operated watches are probably the way to go that are wind or wine style that's got the regular hands. Uh, Casio makes them. Um, you got the G-Shocks and stuff like that. I wear an Apple watch when I'm usually out and about. Okay. If I'm out and about more than two, three days, I'm screwed because that thing is going to uh, go dead. But learning how to look up and measure shadows and stuff like that, there are some techniques you can use to kind of get a really good estimate of what time it is. So, uh, Mm, watch is a good thing to keep uh it's not high priority on my list so we're gonna jump over to the next thing i try to tell these to people all the time multi-tools uh this one's a gerber got the slide up or quick release it slides up uh gerber makes really good ones uh my personal one that i carry on me i'll go ahead and pull it out of the sheath my leatherman 300 super tool and uh i love this thing this is my second one my first one was beat to crap and it was the old school version did not have the replaceable carbide wire cutters in it and that was all chewed up on the inside my son tried to use it one day and he decided dad you need a new gerber or a new leatherman so he got me this for christmas replacing my old one uh, Leatherman, great one. I've got another one. It's a Gerber. It's a Gerber suspension. What sets that one apart from the other ones is the Gerber suspension actually has a pair of scissors in it. Whereas this one, I haven't used it in years. Nope, this one doesn't. This one's just your basic one. It's got a knife. 
a little bitty serrated blade, a file, and some screwdrivers and a can opener. This one, it's got wire cutters, wire crimper, pliers, needle nose, knife, uh, flathead screwdriver, all, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's even got a little steel file, little mill bastard file, what they call. And then they've got serrated blade and a saw blade. Great little tool. Multi-tools are great to keep on you uh, in case of a bind. I've used mine all the time in many situations, broken down on the side of the road, uh, loosening jumper cables on a vehicle. Sometimes you, battery goes dead on you or you're in town. You got to need a new battery. Oh, no, I don't have any tools. Uh, you're kind of screwed. So let's jump back over to tools, though. I do carry these in my bag. A little bitty crescent wrench, a little bitty pair of pliers. Saved my butt more than once. Uh, don't necessarily suggest everybody to sell them because that's a little extra stuff you got to keep in your pocket or something like that. I keep these in my bag out of habit because I use it all the time. Okay, so we got your multi tools, knife, flashlight, stuff like that. Sometimes you don't want to stuff all that crap in your pocket or carry your uh, backpack around or whatever. Just a little belt pouch. This is a uh, Molly compatible. You can put it on any type of backpack that has the Molly straps. Uh, it's got plenty of pocket space. I could drop my multi-tool. Uh, matter of fact, let's do it. Here's my knife. And there's my multi-tool. Okay, what else do I need? Oh, I need my flashlight. And my little flashlight. Right? Big flashlight can go right here. Okay. What else did I say? Our paper. Yep. There's a pocket in the back. Got my paper. Got my pen. So much, so far, everything I've discussed in this video fits in this bag, and it's still got room. So get yourself a bag. Uh, these right here, I picked these up on Walmart. Uh, not Walmart. Uh, Amazon. Like six bucks a piece. A uh, little clip here. Most phones will fit in here. Uh, well, not the bigger ones now, but you could literally drop your multi-tool in that pocket. There you go. Now you got room for your phone in here. And this has got multiple pockets for everything. It's got a side pocket here, big pocket there. And this one, another net pocket right here, and a big pocket there. I've had this thing stuffed on my bag, backpacks, whatever, works great. So pouches, uh, backpacks. If you need a backpack to carry all your stuff in, do that. So let's jump over to a pocket tool. This is an EDC I've been seeing a lot of pop up and everybody's loving the crap out of these. These little pocket tools. And I, I'm i still kind of torn. I mean, yeah, it's a great little tool. But I don't think it's something else I want to have in my pocket, but uh, everybody seems to think you need this on your list. Uh, they're key, keychain compatible. Uh, this one actually had this little key ring going through that hole. Uh, it's got a little pry bar on it. A little pry bar. A uh, little wrench. That right there, a little hex, will hold your quarter inch uh, like Phillips set screwdrivers. Uh, it'll hold the uh, the little the little hex bits that you get for your, like your cordless drills. That's what that's for. Uh, it's got a little bottle opener there. Yeah. A little Phillips screwdriver there. A little flathead edge on this side. Flathead screwdriver right there. Pry bar. Uh, I guess you could use this part as a wrench. I still don't know what that's for. But, uh, yeah, this came with... Actually, when I bought this one, the little Gerber. And this Gerber came with three knives. It came with the Ranger. It came with the Paratrooper. And then this small one. And then that was in the package. So, I kept it. And uh, everybody keeps saying you need those. Uh, people rave over them. I've seen them online, uh, Amazon, uh, just different EDC stores. Some of those suckers can get up to 50 bucks for a little pry bar. So that's going to be your choice, something like that. But I had to include it in the list because everybody wants one. Okay, so next part. Uh, flint rod, we covered that. Uh, cordage, 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 cordage. I always tell people... Paracord. Keep some paracord on you. Keep some paracord in your vehicle, in your backpack, or whatever. Uh, I've always got 
little rolls of the 50 foot or the 100 foot uh, 550 paracord uh, either in my backpack or in my vehicle also I get some good nylon rope you never know when you need it this stays in my vehicle I've got three spools of this uh, this is about 150 foot on one roll and it's got about a 500 pound rating so this is great in a pinch rescue operations whatever or lashing things together to make a shelter stuff like that uh, paracord's great for that too which brings us to like these little paracord uh what they got survival bracelets and stuff this one came with a tent that i bought as like an extra add-on personally i think the uh, this all this crap here could have just used a regular buckle don't really need it because you got your ferrule rod here yeah that's hard to maneuver you need some be able to strike on that and these prongs get in the way but it does come with a little button a little a little button compass uh button compasses aren't the greatest but they will get you out of the woods in a pinch so i guess get a hold of one of these and it's got all this extra whistle and crap on it go for it personally i think all this is useless just give me a buckle and the paracord that's what about 10 foot of paracord on here come in handy all right cordage covered that uh time for a sip today we're drinking black kraken rum they do not sponsor the show Black Kraken Spiced Rum. Great. Mix it with Coke. Tastes like a Dr. Pepper. I mean, uh, root beer. Ooh, I've already had too much to drink already. Okay. The next one. We got your lighters. All right. Chargers. Chargers, chargers, chargers. In the world of technology that we're in right now, uh, everybody carries around a phone. Hell, I'm recording on a phone. I'm recording on a phone over here. Uh, we use them constantly. Uh, cell phone chargers. These things, the technology on them is insane. They've gotten so much better. Get yourself one. I picked this one up at a Walmart. You know, when you're going through Walmart, you, they've always got that one little shelf by every aisle. The as seen on TV stuff or the generic cheap stuff. Yeah. I picked this up for three bucks. Okay, this is a 4,000 milliamp charger. If you look in the end, it's got a place for two USB cords and a regular, yeah, this one uses a regular USB mini to charge with, but it also has a button here on the side, gives you an indication of how much juice you have in it. This one's charged up to 100%. It's literally been sitting in my bag over there for, since November, it was the last time I used it uh, when we were out in the field. Um, my son was using it to charge his phone. We get up to four to five charges out of this one device okay takes hour and a half to charge last year in february we had that freeze hit us here in texas and power was out it was so sudden nobody had their chance to get their phones charged they were having to go outside take them to their vehicle starting their vehicle charging their phones we've got like six of these so they were all fully charged and one to each of the kids here you go. Keep your phone charged. Don't play games. Read a book. But use this to keep your phone charged so we've got a way to contact somebody in case of an emergency. Mine was able to charge my phone, my iPad, and uh, worked great. And then when we would have to get out and go doing stuff, I'd tell everybody, bring your charger with you and a charging cord. And we plug it in in the vehicle and recharge it, replenish it while we're out running around. Works great. Uh... I've also got, in case of an emergency, this is not on the EDC list because this is a little bit more pricey. I've got a Blue Eddy 700 watt power station with four 160 watt deployable solar panels. Uh, so if we have another freeze, which we were supposed to a few weeks ago, but it turned out to fizzle out and it was, I, didn't, I never even got my jacket out. Uh, if we have another freeze, or you're in a situation where you lose your power, you need a way to keep your devices charged so you can have some sort of access to the outside world or emergency help. So, there you go. My earbuds. The little earbuds I buy, these are the cordless ones. They 
pop right in your ear. These cases that they come with that charge these things like 23 times will, will charge your phone like three or four times. So if you got some earbuds that has a rechargeable port, use that. All right, water and water bottle. I carry one of these all the time with me. If you'll notice back here on my rack, where all sleeping bags and stuff are, that's a bunch of camping gear and, some, and emergency supplies. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. Those are some that I carry with me out in the field. This one I keep with me at all times because it drops perfectly down into my backpack. Uh, insulated, double insulated, will keep stuff cold. <sighs> Tastes good, it's metal. You're not going to worry about it breaking. You're not going to get the uh, plastic with that BP leaching or whatever it is that everybody's always worried about. But it's metal. And if in a crisis situation, yeah, I know it's got this nice little print on it and stuff. But in a crisis situation, I guarantee you, I can stick this on a little torch stove. I can boil me some water. Okay, water. Water bottles. Uh, even if you have to carry a plastic water bottle around, keep something in your vehicle, on your backpack or whatever. Water is important. You can't live without it. Uh, so I can't stress water enough. Have a way to replenish your fluids. And uh, include that into your car supplies. Uh, another EDC that I carry on a daily basis, which is my wallet. Ooh, did I show you all the number? No, I did not. I didn't show you the number. Look at that. My wallet. I like the minimalist style wallets. Uh, a lot of people uh, will pay... 50 to 100 bucks for these minimalist wallets. You'll notice, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of there so you don't get to see that. But you'll notice, it's got a little, the kind with the little elastic bands, kind of holds it in place. It's got that little aluminum plate in front that's RFID protected. Uh, on the back side, you can put like other cards, you got your driver's license, a little pouch for it there, holds it. I, stu I tuck money up underneath that strap good to go it's got a little bottle opener on it a little screwdriver a little place to put your lanyard and what i like about it is this dude will drop right down into your front pocket so pretty much all my cards cash id birth certificate all that right here right here drops down in my pocket look how thin that is look how thin that is guess what what bag i told you to carry uh -huh. it fits right in it okay Next one, your keys. Uh, yeah, I'm probably the world's worst about it. I've got a set of keys that I keep in my vehicle that don't have car keys on it, but it's got keys to like toolboxes and stuff like that that are not here at my home. So if somebody were to steal the keys out of my car and think they were going to get it, they're not going to get any problem because I've got extra cassettes of them. Uh, but I keep those locked, locked and stowed away in the vehicle. I keep my car keys on me. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, car keys. Let me see. Bronco. All right. So, we've pretty much covered everything on this list. I've uh, got this. Oh, cash. I forgot about the cash. So, let's uh, discuss why. Last year, February, winter freeze. The night that the freeze hit, I was in Houston trying to get through and do some stuff, uh, trying to come back to my area power was going out left and right i pulled up to a jack-in-the-box and every cash on me all i had was my card power went out thankfully uh at that point uh they had already had my food fixed and the guy just threw it out the window and said no charge go <coughs> however i was gonna need gas so when i stopped in a little town called wharton uh, luckily the bucky's gas station was up and running and the credit card readers worked if they did not if the internet was down i would have been screwed i hate being caught in a situation like that so try to keep a little bit of cash on you also the cash might help you in an emergency situation where there's a where there's a like a city-wide blackout uh let's say you need to barter you need some baby formula you need diapers uh you need a pack of cigarettes, okay? If all the stores are shut down, you can use that cash to barter with your neighbors. There are other things that you can put together in a barter kit. Check out Marine X's video on that. That is a pretty badass video. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Cash can be used in an emergency. Uh, Hurricane Harvey came through. 
I pulled out a pretty good chunk of cash. I had about $7,000 on me because I didn't know if I was going to need to evacuate, who all I was taking with me, and what I was going to need to purchase along the way. And I didn't know if any ATMs were going to be working. So cash, 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 cash. Uh, I got caught with my pants down during the last freeze. So, okay. Uh, signal stuff. Uh, mentioned on this little dude right here. It's got a way for you to signal the... Uh, go check out one of my other videos. I actually showed you how to make these. These are a little bushcraft whistle. I carry one of these whenever I go out and do things uh, because uh, it's just a simple way to uh, draw somebody's attention to you and uh, make sure that they can hear you while you're out in the wild. All right, some of the other things that aren't on my EDC that I don't carry personally. A lot of this stuff, yeah, if you're looking at the video up here and you see that stuff, uh, that's a lot of stuff. But like I said, Everything that we've just now mentioned, I can put in this, even this little paracord bracelet, I can put in this bag. This is, let's seal this up. My wallet's in there, cash is in there, paracord bracelet, cordage, knife, uh, multi-tool, everything, and boom, 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 flashlights, everything. That's it. Ready to go. It's on my side, this is ready to go. I've got stuff to keep me alive. I've got fire starters. Oh, nope, I didn't put a fire starter in there. Okay, we got lighter and, yep, now I have a lighter. Good. See, and it's still got room to expand. So that's an idea for you. Get you these little bags, these little, little molly straps on it. Uh, my Bronco actually has molly straps built into the seats. I can put that there it's got next to the console it's got a place to put it I'll keep all my stuff there um, that'll get me out in the bind if i need it okay stuff that's not my everyday carry but the stuff that i carry in my vehicle keep a shovel e-tool uh axe keep an axe and a machete this axe right here you can pick this up at walmart about 30 bucks it's made by camulus camulus makes damn good items uh, the axe was sharp when i got it reason I like this one put that cover back on covers now handle check this out I got a saw built into it so double tool cut some branches make a shelter make a fire do whatever you want axe got a side clip Bronco it clips into the back uh, got another axe that I carry around this one here can be used for either your axe cutting wood or let me see self-defense and this is one of the uh, tactical tomahawks. Uh, yes, I know how to throw these. So they work great. Self-defense tool can be added to your arsenal with a knife or your uh, handgun that you can legally carry. I have to add that in as a caveat. Legally carry. I don't want anybody running around illegally and saying Mike told them to carry a pistol. Uh, chapstick. I buy these. Uh, Duke Canyon. Anybody likes chapsticks? Uh, I keep one of these in my bag because uh, sometimes you'd be out in, a, in the woods or out hiking or whatever. Sun's beating down on you, wind's whipping, chaps your lips, and the last thing you want is an open cut or chapped lips or something painful that's going to be irritating and discomfort. So these uh, Canyon, Duke Canyons make these what they call their, uh, they call it their offensively large bit lip balm. These things are huge. Got some good flavors, but... Uh, Duke Canyon Offensively Large Lip Balm. This one here is Hydrate and Repair. It's got an SPF rating of 30, and it's Blood Orange Mint. That one's really good. This one's got an SPF rating. You can get them in different SPFs. Uh, SPF rating of 15. And this one is... What flavor is this? I have no idea. Does that have flavor? Mint. It's a mint flavor. I guess the green should have been an indicator. Uh, mint. Uh, another thing I carry in my vehicle sometimes, uh, I'll not discuss that, but sometimes we're out in the woods and we need a sippy sip. Okay, great. Uh, these, you can pick these up at your hardware store. Uh, I talked about the cordage. The reason I say these, well, let's say you got a bunch of cordage and need ways to attach it to things. 
You got some little carabiners in here. You got these little uh, these little rings where they have screw in. These are a hell of a lot stronger than the little cheap carabiners because you can actually tie into them with rope. Uh, make yourself slip knots, whatever, secure a shelter or what have you. And it also comes with all these little flat key rings. I like these better because you don't have to tear your fingers up trying to get shit on them. Uh, but yeah, this whole box right here, I picked it up at Texas Tractor Supply uh, for $4.99. Pretty damn good deal. All right, next up on the list is, let me see my little bag. A lot of people don't consider these. First aid and emergency and safety, okay? Birds, I carry that because I want to know the birds, okay? This is medicinal plants, medicinal plants. A lot of your grocery stores carry these little booklets specific to your region. This is knots. Uh, you're out in the woods, you need to learn to tie a knot real quick. Well, you don't have time to learn, but you know the knot that's going to work. These work great. These are laminated. They're waterproof. They tuck right into a bag. It's great. Next one. Uh, I use this one a lot. Day hiking in Texas. The areas that you can hike legally. And obviously, South Texas. Uh, another reason I carry the pew pew uh, because of uh, wild hogs. I don't live in bear country. But wild hogs and these dudes. Rattlesnakes. And we have rattlesnakes, cotton mouse, water moccasins, coral snakes, just all kinds. Well, this little fold out will help you identify which angry, angry uh, nope noodle is trying to get you. So, the reason I bring these up is because this is something that nobody ever thinks about. They see them almost daily. Uh, every grocery store I've ever been in, and I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb because I've been to a lot of states. I've been to 48 US states. I have not been to Hawaii or Alaska. And in almost every state I've been to, I've been to the grocery store at some point in time. I got hungry. I needed food. I've been to the grocery store. And right up there in those racks where they sell your National Enquirer, your gossip columns and all that stuff, usually there is these little pamphlets. They're laminated they're not that expensive i don't know what this one is right here this one's six bucks it says it on the back six bucks okay take buy this put it in your bag keep it in your car because you never know when you may come across somebody who is choking there's a way it tells you what to do here or moving an injured victim uh you break a leg emergency childbirth is in this thing okay cpr roll up on an accident you don't know how to do cpr boom you can actually read this in about 10 seconds and kind of get the gist of it and maybe save somebody's life uh shows you how to put on a tourniquet things of that nature i'm sorry six bucks six dollars this is waterproof and well worth it uh the medicinal plants, that's regional for me, this particular pamphlet, because these are plants that grow in my region. How I can use them for medicine, nutrition, and survival. I'm sure your area has one. So check them out. Get yourself one. I also carry this. Uh, this it clips on my belt uh, if I'm out in the woods and I'm hiking. You see, it's kind of compact. And then it opens up into a waxed canvas pouch that is still on my side uh medicinal plants if i know which ones i'm looking for i can load this up with them uh i can load this up with berries nuts uh things of that nature if i'm out trying to survive and pretty much not die uh i can load this up with t with tinder um uh, stuff that appeal bark that i peel off of a tree or whatever tinder to start a fire these little pouches, they're actually called mushroom pouches. They are they were designed, and a lot of companies sell them with a knife that is specifically made for harvesting mushrooms. But I saw this online, and I was like, holy crap, I need that, because uh, that'd be great for hiking. Let's say I see uh, some rocks, because I like to do flint napping. Uh, I see some rocks that I want to do. I don't want to fill my pockets up. Pop this out and 
It's on my side. I can carry stuff around. These are great tools. Uh, so pretty much anything that you can think of as far as EDC, things that you need to carry on you, We've covered a lot of that today. I said this was going to be a long video. Holy crap, I'm running at 50 minutes. Hopefully, I will get this cut down and it will not be 50 minutes. Cordage. You can buy cordage at Walmart. You can get your paracord Walmart. A lot of this stuff that I mentioned, you can get on a budget at Walmart, Target, Harbor Freight. I don't know if anybody has a Harbor Freight near them. Cheap tools and stuff. Let's run by these spools of rope. I think I pay... $10 for 150 foot, 500 pound rated rope, okay? Uh, tractor supplies. I hit places all the time. I see things that I need that would go great in some sort of uh, survival situation. I usually pick it up, especially if it's like cheap, dirt cheap. Uh, I'd rather spend the $3 or, like I said, the $6.00 and be prepared so i think that's going to cover it for the edc today uh hope everybody's having a wonderful time i'm sorry the video ran so long but shit there's a lot of stuff here to discuss uh once again the right in rain they are not a sponsor they can send me a pin if they want me to try it out i will be more than happy to the right and rain tablets can be found at lowe's i just found that out myself i don't know if y'all knew that or not because uh, <clears throat> I see them online all the time, six bucks, six and five bucks. Lowe's carries them for three dollars. These little composition books, these little, this was a dollar at Walmart. These are 50 cents. Uh, uh, I think I paid five bucks for this at the uh, at Walmart. Zippos, you can get these ten dollars. These things for like at your dollar store. Dollar store, that's another place to look at. Dollar store for lighters and shit like this. These things are like a couple bucks at dollar store and they sell they sell the uh, butane to refuel them so it works great uh bought this at the dollar store i've got a dollar store right down the road from me i bought this and needed it used it i like barbecue pits with it uh most of this stuff on this table if you're not going to buy name brand expensive or anything like that you could probably get almost everything on this table for 20 bucks 20 30 bucks i'd be willing to bet 20, 30 bucks. It might be a challenge. I might have to uh, see if I can build a little EDC kit to help you survive for a day for 10, 15 bucks. So let me know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you like the information that I gave you today. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please, 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 please comment. Give me some ideas and stuff that you guys carry. Let me know what, I don't care how stupid it is or what you think it is. If you carry it because you think it's cool, who is going to use a knife I mean, literally. I'm sorry. That's just cool. I like it. I mean, yeah, it fits in my. It fits in that little pouch here perfectly. I mean, it's just a cool little dude, man. Uh, can almost sneak that past TSA. I think probably not. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I, you did not hear me say that. Uh, but anyway, just comment in the comment section. Let me know some of the stuff that you guys carry around for your EDC and stuff. Uh, I might do another video later of uh. EDC I would carry if I'm actually going hiking, carrying my backpack, putting it on. I can tell you right now, this will be in it. And uh, never go into the woods without my knife. And if I can, if I can get away with it, the pew pew. So, uh, like I said, subscribe, like, comment, and yeah, I think I'm done. Cheers. Enjoy your weekends, guys.